Good evening, all of you. Our guest of honor, invited guest, honorable members of Kanisa Circle, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. It's my honor this evening to stand before you as we celebrate this special occasion, our 40th anniversary. We've heard from those who have spoken before us that we are celebrating our journey. We've had even testimonials from those who have been here before us on how and where Kanisa has taken them. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to express our gratitude to Mrs. Lucy Kimani, our guest of honor this evening, for honoring our invitation to come and grace our occasion. We are humbled that you found time from amidst your busy schedule to be here with us this evening. We also recognize all of you and appreciate that despite what has been happening, the rains, that you all found time to come here and be with us. You've heard from those who have spoken before me that we are pros we are our theme today is prospering together. That we are here celebrating our journey and this is a journey that began 40 years ago. And we've heard how Kanisa Sako started, but distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, kindly allow me to recognize the 18 founder members of Kanisa Sako who started or who had vision of starting this circle of ours. These are among others Mr. Francis Asena who we had invited. I don't know whether he has managed to arrive. We had Mr. James Miner who you all saw. He stood up and we recognized him. We had Mary Mwangi, Lucy Vialo, Connie Chamsinde, Kulia Jonjo, Jen Akrum, Florence Pai, Alice Kirambi, the late Geoffrey Ikua, the late Rispa Mgaro, and Miriam Dusi, among others. These are the founders of Kanisa Circle. But we cannot also recognize them without recognizing the contribution of the All Africa Conference of Churches, the founding organization where all of us come from and these 18 members came from. At this point, I want to recognize the presence also of all those organizations that are members of Kanisa Circle. We know that we have their representative here. We start with the All Africa Conference of Churches that we recognize the representatives. May they stand so that we are able to see them. Staff of All Africa Conference of Churches who are here with us today. Let us clap for them. Staff of all AACC. I know there are also some who are seated, but they are also members. They also double to be members. So they are here wearing several hats as members, as representatives, and also as distinguished supporters of Kanisa Sako. I also want to recognize the presence of all those other representatives of the other organizations that are affiliated to Kanisa Sako. Can we stand so that we are able to recognize you? I know Prokmura, they are here. I saw them. Can we stand? Madam Joy is here. ACRL. Florence was here. We know. We are sharing, and also Florence is there, and they, all other organizations that are present here. We recognize and appreciate the support that you've given to Kanisa Circle since its inception. We have over 20 organizations that are supporting and that are corporate members of Kanisa Circle. But you have, as you heard from our CEO, since 2004, we allowed also other individual members to join Kanisa Circle, and we equally value their support and their patronage of Kanisa Circle. And majority of our members who are even here today, they come from the individual membership. So today, we are here to celebrate 40 years of success. We are showcasing our impact as you have secured and through mobilizing savings and enhancing a saving culture that our members have continued to grow. We've had the achievement that our CEO has enumerated. In the interest of time, I'm not going to repeat them. You've heard how he illustrated from 18 members with deposits of 200,000 to today, when we have over 300 million in terms of deposits. It's a growth and a journey that is worth celebrating. We thank God that Kanisa Sako has come this far, and it's because of you, our honorable members, our organizations, and our supporters, even our service providers. We have Cooperative Bank here, we have CIC present. They are all been our service providers who have supported Kanisa and journeyed with us to this far. As we celebrate our 40 years, 
we are looking forward to building our future at a time when a lot has changed in the industry especially in the regal framework where we are now being governed under the regulation 2020 i'm sure all of you have seen our name has changed we are not we are no longer kanisa circle but we've added some other acronyms in our name now we are Kanisa and withdrawable deposit taking circle. Our name is longer, and I know that these, re these re regulations have come with opportunities also for growth. But also we are aware that it is, is important that we comply because compliers will ensure that we run this circle prudently and that member savings are safeguarded and that they are safe. Our entire goal is to continue offering high quality services and products to ensure that at the same time our members benefit and that the circle continue to grow. Further, we want to assure our members that we are looking ahead with optimism. A lot has changed, especially we all know what COVID-19 COVID pandemic has, had, has done to our membership. We lost some members last year due to the pandemic, and also some members also lost their jobs. And we've been pleading to them, especially those who are out there, to come and we are ready to listen to us. We want to put a strong system in place, as our CEO has said, and we're also trying to strengthen our systems, especially to make sure that we're strong and we're able to survive, especially in this industry that is constantly evolving. We are here today as we look forward. We know that there are great opportunities out there for growth, but we cannot grow alone. We appreciate the effort and everything that you are, we've done. Our members are struggling, but we are saying that our doors are open. We are 